The city of Atlanta could all but stop prosecuting cases involving people caught with illegal psychedelic mushrooms. 11 Alive Doug Richards is live at City Hall with more on this measure that was just introduced. Doug? Yeah, so advocates say that psychedelic mushrooms and similar substances have a long history through human history as being beneficial to humankind. They blame the 1960s and 70s for coming along, backlash against the Vietnam War protests and such, causing Congress and President Richard Nixon to enact the Controlled Substances Act. And here at Atlanta City Hall, there is a small effort to undermine at least a portion of that. Psychedelics were seen as a threat. Simone Gerges was among the folks asking the city council to stop enforcing laws that turn users of psychedelic mushrooms into criminals. They want the city to deprioritize prosecutions and let folks use the power of mushrooms and other ethnogenic fungi to heal. This is the answer to the global mental health and addiction crisis. I saw the healing capacities that depression and anxiety, trauma, did not have to be lifelong disorders that they carried with them. Backers mimicked arguments used of late to advance the cause of medical marijuana, though in this case they did not back away from the mind-expanding qualities of natural psychedelics. These traditional medicines truly change the neural pathways within our brains. They target the roots of so many imbalances rather than simply treating the symptoms. And backers say they are part of a national movement uh, to do this, and they have some evidence behind them. Voters in Washington, D.C., a couple of years ago, uh, overwhelmingly voted to decriminalize uh, psychedelic mushrooms and other ethnogenic fungi. Live at City Hall, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. All right, Doug, thank you so much.